Well, now, after more than a dozen reported cases of measles, city officials are warning unvaccinated New Yorkers to get their shots. Some scary stuff here to give us some insight into the highly contagious disease is Dr. Lisa Thebner. So welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Wait, I thought measles, we were done with measles. Yeah, so did we. In fact, it had been eradicated in the United States. It was considered eliminated because of the high vaccination rates. However, the vaccination rates have decreased. People travel and there's unvaccinated travelers from abroad coming in. And so as a result, we've had an importing of the cases of measles again. Well, it's important to vaccinate our children, but I know that there are some parents who just won't. Why is that? Well, there's been some misunderstanding in terms of the risks associated with MMR. It's a very safe vaccine. It got a bad rap. Some have murmured that it is related to autism. That has been disproven by scientific cases over and over and over again, internationally and domestically. And let me let me interrupt you. MMR is measles, mumps, rubella. Is that right? Correct. Okay. Yes. So, so that some people know. Well, so there, there's no proof that the uh, uh, vaccination is related to autism. Is m measles in any way related to autism? No. So this is not, not only is there no proof, it's been disproven. Okay, so it's so a highly need. safe vaccine, but what happens is, is that there's still the internet and there's still people's communication, and so that's where they're maybe relying on their information. Can you explain what the measles are what, or what the signs are? Sure, it's a virus and it's highly contagious. So if you haven't been vaccinated and you're in close contact with someone who has the measles, 90% of you are going to get it. Most of wow. us have been vaccinated. There's been a vaccine since the early 60s. If you were growing up in, before in the 50s and before then, you likely had it. The majority of cases are going to cause fever, cough, runny nose, watery eyes, and that classic rash that we hear about, mm. which starts from the head and it moves its way down. Now, for many, it will just remain as that, an illness that is just a few days of fever with these symptoms. But one in 20 can get pneumonia, and in fact, one in two out of a thousand children will die from measles. Oh, wow. What about pregnant women? It's also more risky for pregnant women. It could cause premature labor, and it can also cause miscarriages. Wow. Unbelievable. Okay, so then if you have had the vaccine, you should be okay. The Is majority, that correct? That's right. Okay. So the majority who get the vaccine, you know, before the 80s, it was actually just a one-dose vaccine. The majority are going to be covered by that. Since the 80s, we've been doing two vaccines. You get a booster, mm -hmm. and the usual time that you get it is when you're a baby, so between 12 and 15 months, and then before school, so between four and six years of age. What well, now, if people are hearing this right now and they're freaked out and they haven't had it, can they just go out right now and get it? You can. You can get a booster. You could also get a blood test to see whether or not you've had proper protection against the measles. If you've been pregnant before, your OB has taken the blood test for you, so you would have already known if you have immunity against this disease. Is this the only way to protect yourself? I know I, this, is, this may sound like a silly question because a lot of people, to avoid the flu, they wash their hands, they, you know, are very careful. Is the vaccine the only way to avoid getting measles? It's the only safe and reliable way to avoid getting the measles. Like I said, it's highly contagious. The germs can actually linger in the room for a couple of hours after you've been in there. Oh my gosh. Wow. So if a child or an adult has been in a room, let's say in the emergency room or in their doctor's office, it actually should, it should be in a special type of room and it has to be properly cleaned because that virus can linger in there for two hours after they've even been in there. Wow. Okay. Well, thanks for freaking us out this Happy morning. Happy Monday, everyone. But also <laughs> thanks for the perspective and the good advice yes. as always. My pleasure. Dr. Lisa Thebner. Thank you. Named for a mountain range in Austria. Can you